So we're ready to go with about 3,000 fans in attendance in downtown Louisville. Johnson missed the first shot of the game for Louisville. He was off his game Saturday at Miami, bothered by a shin injury. Nice bounce there. Vitsa, the seven foot one soccer scored, and then the response by Samuel Williamson. But from the wing wouldn't go, and the rebound down to Raekwon Gray. They do expect to have the talented freshman Scotty Barnes tonight do the Seminoles. He did not play Saturday. John, he's a phenomenal talent, is Barnes. 6'9", gonna be an NBA playmaker at that point guard spot. Kinda hum hobbled around during shoot around today, but a, a big time talent sitting on that Seminole bench. Open three from the corner is up and good. All screen spread action, really for both ball clubs. Leonard Hamilton went away from his set plays five or six years ago. Spread that ball, drive it, nice, very well done. Boy, what a load inside is great. With the pauses, and each of these teams has had a pause due to COVID. Fewer games, fewer practices. Here's Wyatt Wilkes for three. And it's a 9 nothing run for the Knowles. Two years old, we're probably 200 pages into a book of 300 pages about his career, but I, I think history we will look back as Carly Jones finally knocks one down. There's not a more respected guy in college basketball than Leonard Hamilton. Carly Jones, the last bucket for Louisville. Wow. And Scotty Barnes, the response at the other end. Scoring is spread around for Florida State because the minutes are divided up. What you have to do against Louisville's pack defense switching is knock down a shot. And that's what Florida State has done. So they're going to have to drag now. That hurt the development of a guy like Ingun. Locking with the ball so far have been the Seminoles, and now Koprovica blocks Gray Davis's shot. Game in a row, they have started slowly. Strong move inside, and the bucket for Malik Osborne. Scholarship players available. This season interrupted by COVID. There's another three. For Raekwon Evans by Jalen Withers, the redshirt freshman from Charlotte. And the floater goes for Quinn Slazinski. The shooting number, Sean, the last three ball games, 59% from three-point line is Florida State and Bob. And that includes the five out of eight tonight. It was two victories head-to-head -head last year for Florida State against Louisville, both by double digits. Kobravica handed it off, and the lay-in for Raekwon Gray. Butter wouldn't go for Carleek Jones. Under nine to go in the half. Florida State with another three, their sixth of the half. This one from Scotty Barnes. See it from where we are. Look how high they are beyond that three-point line. Able to have momentum as drivers, able to step into the three-point shot. The spacing is beautiful for Florida State in this game. Leonard Hamilton praising him in our chat last night for Calhoun's defense. And the floater goes for Samuel Williams. That make from the sophomore from Rockwall, Texas. Calhoun again, that's a three. Heard about, about those numbers only twice in the last five years in Division One has a team gone with those kind of numbers in back to back games. The last team to do it, Florida State. Juan Evans, he had his career high of 24 against NC State last Wednesday. David Johnson, the response that's a three pointer. What and the definition of big would be what? No, no, no. Frequent, frequent. That's frequent right there, isn't it? It sure that's is. Raekwon Gray, that's a corner, too. I, th I think you're the best team in the ACC. I, I know you're the deepest. I know the dudes you lost. Trent Forrest, Patrick Williams, Devin Sell. Those guys, are, they're, they're, they're pros now. But when you watch Florida State play on both ends of the floor. And it's fun to watch on selfish team basketball. And they play hard at both ends. A couple of chances, and finally it goes for Jalen Withers. If you don't have a couple of dudes that will go to the coach and say, hey, he's killing us defensively, get him out, then you're not a great defensive team. And, and the Jalen, Jalen, Jalen Withers inside. Chris Mack said this morning, 
The first four minutes he gave up five offensive rebounds in his area. Louisville trying to make a little run here. A two and a half to go. They're on a six nothing run, trying to extend it. Tighten it up on the way to the locker room. And it's another bucket inside for Jalen Withers. The ball and people at the offensive end lately for Louisville. Wilts trying to quiet the crowd. Man. Banks at home. Tough shot, huh? Louisville defense was good. The shot was better. And Slezinski wide open, missed the three. Jones wide open, missed the three, and on the offensive glass, David Johnson. Davis, who had trouble gathering it in. Wow, wide open again, and a bucket by Jalen Withers. When I work with Billis, I do look in the opposite direction, but I do want to look directly at you while you're speaking. MJ Walker, nice offense to get the second half started for Florida State. Career high was last year, just over 10 per game. That's his first bucket of the night. Count the bucket for Carleek Jones and a chance for a three-point play. 16 times in Division I since 1996. There's our guy. Right on cue, Carleek lays it in. I think I admire the most from Carleek Jones coming from Radford. He is so appreciative of all the stuff that he gets at a level like Louisville. It doesn't take one day for granted. And Saturday in the win against North Carolina, he also had five assists, four rebounds, three steals against the Heels. Officials in this area to set the capacity about 15% of the arena. Now it's 11 feet is home of Louisville basketball. And away that air. Jones all the way down the edge of the lane to the bucket. Basketball in Florida, over 500 wins at steps. In the College Basketball Hall of Fame, Carly Jones has a pop out. There you go. Nice work on the offensive glass by Jalen Withers. He has 10. Good rebounder. He's the leading rebounder, more than seven per game. But right away, Wilkes. 11 tonight, matching his season high at 11 in their win against Georgia Tech. Fourth game of the year. Very strong by David Johnson. This match not going to go away from him. Johnson has 15 to lead Louisville. Williamson, nice little pull up from about 10 feet. MJ Walker, they left him alone and he missed the three. Kept alive by Wilkes. And that's a season high, 13 now. Rinquan Evans called for his first foul. The team six, so they'll be over the limit on the next one. Beautiful out of bounds play, the dunk for Jalen Withers with 14.51 remaining in the first half. Now that is the one risk you run when you. Nice pass and Coach Pervitsa, the dunk. Yeah, very, very patient. And stopped by the much taller Kopravica. And the seven-footer got in the passing lane. And now drives to the pocket. But missed the finger roll, but follows with the dunk. Kopravica, the one-handed pass. Under coach Hamilton. Kopravica, beautiful pass again in the easy bucket. For Scotty Barnes. Tried to screen and roll there. They didn't give it to him. Shot clock expiring, and there's a dunk by Malik Osborne. Starter last year on a potential Final Four team. Coach says, I need you to come off the bench for me this year. And he says, yes, sir, whatever you need me to do. What does he do? Ball play, sell it. One dribble, a big punch. Well done. Malik Osborne. Bam! And Louisville's kind of a runner, runner, two, runner. two spots, maybe two and a half. Raekwon Gray comparing him to Zion Williamson. No, I, I said I don't think we should show that. But, oh, okay. <laughs> but why they, I don't know why they have the picture. That's why we called it off. Side by side. <laughs> you over your altitude sickness? No, I'm really not. Got you again on the ball screen. Walker inside and Osborne fouled. Slazinski made the first free throw. And Williamson drops it in. They're trying to make another late push here. Louisville was in the top 25 last week. They were 16. They fell out after that loss in Miami.
Look Florida State's going to be in the top 25 next week. Later this week, that game you mentioned on the weekend against Clemson in Tallahassee. Sean, that there are not 25 teams better in college basketball than the one we're watching tonight in Tallahassee. There's just no way that is a final four threat. I, I, I think we're looking at it. Williamson, tough shot. Really, I can't remember the last time I heard about a Florida State basketball player getting in trouble. No, I, I, I haven't. I have not. You're right. For FSU, Travis Light, a couple of deep players on the end of the bench. Will Miles is also in there. And there's Travis Light on that bench. You could hear the cheer go up from the bench as he got a chance to play and made the most of it. His first points of the season. And it'll be the final points of the game.